16 days away from the election day, December 7. That's still on matters of election coming up next year on Ghana tonight. The Electoral Commission of Ghana destroyed some defective ballot papers for the voter and a half of regions. But are the parties really satisfied uh, with, with, with the manner in which the exercise was carried out? And the emphasis is on how the process uh, was carried out. And that's been the concern that's been expressed by some of the political parties. We'll hear from them shortly. But just to give you an idea of the, the, the ballot papers you see being burnt there, we'll, we'll show you a bit of it as well as we go on. The Electoral Commission burnt thousands of ballot papers for the AHAFO and voter regions following the mistakes in the serial numbers. And it's very important when it comes to the serial numbers and the matter of identification especially for the political parties. Now, the serialization challenges were noticed after an audit by the Electoral Commission's officers stationed at uh, Fontstadt. Fontstadt is the, one of the printing companies that initially printed the ballot papers. Now, party agents, personnel from the various security agencies and the media also were invited to observe the burning process. The Electoral Commission says this was done for the purposes of transparency. So they, these are the, the videos you see right there. So the burning uh, that took place earlier today, uh, thousands, in fact, running to, to millions of them, these ballot papers that were burned, as was earlier announced and indicated by the Electoral Commission. And in fact, this you had the various party agents who responded to the Electoral Commission's invitation present plus the media as well. Asantikisi is the Deputy Director of Electoral Services at the Electoral Commission, and this is what he said. You have seen how transparent the process has been, how open the process has been, and as we said, the Commission has done this because we want to protect the integrity of the ballot papers. Because this thing has been transparent, this thing has been open, the police is here, the NIB is here, the national security is here, the political party agents are all here, they've endorsed the disposable certificates, and we want you to put that out there. No ballot paper has been left anywhere, and everything has been disposed of. As he indicated, all, everyone who needed to be there was there, but the agents of the NDC and the MPP who were present during the exercise also had a thing to say about the exercise itself. Take a look. And uh, we'll, we'll recall that shortly. And um, hear from them, especially because of the, the concerns that had preceded this particular exercise and taking into consideration the fact that there had been that matter of the, the printing house especially that was uh, identified in this. And this is what the, both of them had to say. For me, the process is okay, but we wished they could they would have done this long ago. I mean, we started the auditing about two weeks back, and here we are almost a day for the dispatch of the ballot papers. Then uh, the news hit us. When things are burning, there will still be some under, there will still be uh, issues with it. So we are here. We will make sure everything is burnt to ash before we leave. For how long are you going to be here? Um, as long as we, can, we have to, because we want to make sure none of the ballot sheets or papers lives here. Even if it takes you days? We have to. I mean, it's, uh, we, we are, as we said, we are keeping eagle eyes on the Electoral Commission. I can tell you emphatically that whatever we have burned it here, whatever we brought it here, we're corrected. Also because the EC in its statement has alluded to the fact that their audit found mistakes in the serial numbers. It was previously. Yes, we saw it and it was corrected. We have burned it. It is, it is not burned well, as to my satisfaction. So, we are, I'm going to tell them something other thing that I've observed. So, if they do it, I think it will help us. Well, so, we had the MPP agent there saying, yes, the burning has taken place, but it, the papers have not been burnt well. So, they want it bent, bent to ashes so that there would not be any um, body going there to go and take it and use it for any nefarious activity. The NDC agent also raises concerns. They say they are going to be there until the last paper is bent. That's the level of vigilance that we are seeing among the political parties going into this election. Let me give you an idea of the quantity of these uh, ballot papers that had this 
issues with the serial numbers bent earlier today. For the presidential in the voter region, as, as was printed, 184 bags were bent. And that had, each bag had thousands of these ballot papers, 40 ones that were bent, 184 of them. For the parliamentary, there are 66 bags full of ballot papers that were destroyed. For the half region, for the presidential, about 21 bags destroyed. And for the voter region, 100 booklets that had 9,536 papers destroyed. 25 booklets that had 1,082 ballot papers destroyed. 10 booklets that had 1,970 ballot papers destroyed. And for the half of region, 100 booklets that have 3,344 papers, ballot papers in there destroyed. 50 booklets, 393 papers destroyed. 25 booklets that had 401 papers in there destroyed. And 10 booklets that had 654 ballot papers destroyed. And this was done right in the presence of the political parties, the Bureau of that's it, the NIB, National Intelligence Bureau, and then also all the other stakeholders that were invited to witness the process as well. So this, this is what we're talking about right now. And we'll keep an eye on this here on your election command center.